Hey guys, so it is currently a little past 8.15 and I am lounging in my comfy vomit green um, recliner. <laughs> um, so today did not go as planned to say the least. So I took a shower, got ready, clearly. Um, I ended up filming the Pattern Showcase Tuesday all over again. And let me tell you, it was a really, really bad idea. I am so sorry for this mess back here. It is this corner. It's just, it's a mess. Sorry. Um, it was a really bad idea to um, showcase 25 patterns. <laughs> really bad idea. It took forever. It didn't take forever to film, but it took forever to edit that video. I mean, oh my god. I did not. So, sorry, I'm just playing with my hair. I used a new shampoo, and I actually kind of like the way it's made my hair feel and look. It looks a little bit nicer. Um, so, yeah, it was a really bad idea to do 25, um, different patterns, because it took forever to edit. I think I started filming, or editing. I started editing around one something. I didn't finish editing until about five me four hours to edit a 45 minute video that's forever <laughs> that took forever so it will never ever 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 be 25 um patterns again that was insane and really stupid <sighs> excuse me um so yeah that ended up taking up most of the day to where i could not dye yarn, mainly because my back was in so much pain that even bending over to put something in the refrigerator hurt. Bending over to, not even bending, sometimes just walking. Like, I don't know what I would do, but I would just walk and the next thing I know, I'm just getting shooting pains at my back. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm rocking. I probably shouldn't. That'll make you guys sick. So yeah, today's a low day. We all have them. <sighs> but luckily, I'm hoping that this back pain will kind of subside a little bit tomorrow. Nick's supposed to be going to a course on base instead of going to work, and tomorrow is check-in day. So basically he goes in, checks in, and then comes home. I'm hoping that because of that, he will be able to kind of watch the kids and I can get some yarn dyed. I have been telling myself for over a week that I need to dye yarn and I haven't gotten around to it for one reason or another. And this is literally the very last week I have to be able to get everything done in time or I'm going to be really pushing it. procrastination at its finest, my friends. I've always been a procrastinator, unfortunately, which is not a very good habit to have when you own your own business and make your very own deadlines. Sometimes I'm stupid. <laughs> like, I'll admit it. Sometimes I just, I'm stupid. Um, so yeah, I am currently working on my grandma's project. Um, I won't show you what I'm working on because my grandma does watch, but I will show the yarn and hopefully she will like it. This is the yarn I'm going to use. I was going to use this some this for Emma, but I figured my grandma would like these colors. Um, hopefully. If she doesn't, then, uh, oops. <laughs> um, so yeah. Not Metal Chalice is going to go on tonight. 
I did actually pick up my Reminisce sweater last night and I got to work on it. I think I put like two rows in it. <laughs> Not a lot, but something, you know, since it's been sitting since last fall or winter. So I'm really hoping that once I get done making these gifts, I can uh, start working on my stuff and my, like my kids' stuff because I feel like in designing, like I was supposed to have patterns out right now. I have like multiple patterns that I've started that I wanted to get out and I haven't because I've been so busy making gifts. So next year, <laughs> and you know, it's so funny every other year I'll be like, I am not making anybody gifts. And then the next year I'm like, I'm going to make everyone gifts. <laughs> and the next year I'm not making anybody gifts this year. And then the next year I want to make everyone gifts. <sighs> when will I learn? I don't know. I'm, basically, I'm a walking freaking hypocrite because I am a Gemini. So it's like, I feel like I have two brains within my body. Two minds that are complete opposites that want to do both things at once. It's frustrating sometimes. Like, the best way to describe my mind is the way you would look, see me, like my personal style. If you look at me, I wear black and very dark colors all the time. But if you come into my house, it's very, like, farmhouse, beachy, like, typical, almost like Joanna Gaines style. Like, <laughs> like you wouldn't put me in that house. You wouldn't be like, oh, like, if you were to, like, match up the people to their homes... You would not think that me, the way I dress, would go into that home. Like, that's the way my brain works. One half is dark and spooky. The other half is super girly and white and frilly and flo flowery and... <sighs> yeah. I'm a walking contradiction. If you guys haven't noticed already. But anyways, I'm gonna get going. Because I know this is just plain talking and this can sometimes get very boring. Apparently, because I keep losing subscribers. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, which, that has been bugging me so bad, which is why I keep bringing it up, because it's been bothering me, and I don't know why, because, like I said earlier, my logical mind is like, forget about it. My emotional mind's like, oh my god, what am I doing wrong? But yeah, I'm super tired, but I'm watching some podcasts and vlogtobers and yarny people. I'm watching Pink Pumpkin Crochet right now. It's paused, because you know, copyright. But yeah, that's who I'm watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So I have been really bad at filming the last few days. Um, yeah, really bad. Um, mainly because I've been in pain. And I haven't been doing much besides kind of just resting as much as possible so this pain will go away even though I know it's gluten related but getting up and walking around and doing a bunch of things makes it obviously aggravated and hurts worse um so today is what is today the 18th so I believe tomorrow I start opening up the advent calendar the Halloween advent calendar that I did this year I am, I did dye up nine colorways of the Christmas advent, which I need to finish up the rest of it this weekend. Um, luckily, mini scenes dry really quickly. I'm trying to pull my camera out so you can see me, but then my arm wants to go because I have to hold it out. Um, it is 8.30ish right now. And it is a very pleasant 45 degrees outside. That makes me so happy. Um, I am having my coffee. I am working on a baby sweater, which I'm almost done with the sleeve. Um, I was working a lot on my grandma's um, gift. And I am watching Hannah from the Corner of Craft because she just put a podcast out this morning when I came on 
So yeah, that's why you see me here in the mornings because in the mornings, this is kind of like my routine. I get up, I have my coffee, I watch some YouTube, do a little bit of knitting or crocheting. Uh-uh. Hey, you leave my coffee creamer alone. No. And maybe have some breakfast. Most of the time it's just coffee. Um, and while I do that, you know, because obviously I don't guzzle down my coffee. I, I sip it. Little sips, pinky out. <coughs> Joke, apparently. <coughs> that was the universe's way of getting back at me for doing a crappy English accent. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, today we're supposed to go to a little, hey, what you got? What you got? What is that? Yeah, it's like a little small thing of cream that hasn't been opened yet. Um, we're supposed to go to like this little carnival thing tonight and then we plan on going to a pumpkin patch tomorrow to pick up our pumpkins. Um, Nick and I, we pretty much decided we're not going to um, dress up just because adult costumes are very freaking expensive. Um, so I may just do some fancy makeup. Well, I have a, a costume <clears throat> left over from a couple years ago that I can use. It was a witch costume. So I guess I could be a witch. My kitchen is kind of a mess right now because I still have all my dyeing stuff out because why my refrigerator is wide open. Um, so yeah, mess, real life in action. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why that's out. I still have more dyeing to do, so it's still down. Um, normally I put it all up, but I figured since I'm going to be dying, dying, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's what I think of every time I say that word. <clears throat> So yeah, um, I'm going to try and piece together what I have so far and pop it up on the internet today, but I am not entirely sure what it's going to look like. So, bye! Good morning, guys. So today is day 19, which means first day of advent calendar, advent calendar opening. Um, I'm actually going to open my... Uh, lines real quick um so today we're opening the first advent of my 13 nights of halloween that i dyed up myself um so yeah so this is how it comes let's i'm gonna flip you guys around so you guys can see please excuse my messy uh desk i have yarn everywhere um so this is how it came in a little tiny box. I ended up writing my numbers on just because I didn't want to waste the sticker numbers. So you open up the little box and you're greeted with our little witchy fox. Boop, boop. So cute. Okay. So on this has the colorway name. So this one is Autumn Harvest. These are um, DK weight. So 20 grams, 49 yarns, 75, 25, and this is what Autumn Harvest looks like. Um, so I'm not going to lie, when I first made this, I was hoping for candy corns, but the white ended up turning like a uh, peachy color. So I was like, well, um, harvest it is. <laughs> so, yes, that is day one of Advent. And I am currently looking for a project to do that I can uh, use up all these minis. So I'll pop that one back in the box. And put little witchy fox back in there. I really need to come up with a name for my fox. 
So if you guys have any name suggestions for the, um, the little logo fox, let me know. But uh, Today we are going to the pumpkin patch. I am like really blinded by this light right now. Um, today we're going to go to the pumpkin patch. We were supposed to go to a carnival last night. That didn't happen. Um, but we ended up staying in and having a movie night and we watched Aladdin, which I'm not gonna lie, I was super skeptical about Will Smith being the genie because in my opinion, the genie will always be Robin Williams. Like, I feel like there is no character that Robin Williams has done that was bad. That's just my opinion. Well, that's in the movies I've seen of him. Um, so, yes, he will always be the genie to me. So, um, today I'm in my dark hallway. There's Nick. Say good morning. Oh, you're such a butthole. Um, the kids are playing in their room, and today we are going to the pumpkin patch. Here, I'll just stand and talk right here. Today we're going to the pumpkin patch. Should be fun. Should get some stuff recorded, hopefully. <laughs> Woo! You did it all by yourself! <laughs> Was that fun? Colin! <laughs>